in the last little video I had of uh, going to Akita, I found that many, many people were telling me about the Baba Heda ice. So this time I'm gonna be going out on the search as a hunt for Baba Heda. But first, what exactly is Baba Heda? If we simply break down the two words, Baba and Heda, we can kind of get an image of what to expect. Or maybe not. Baba means elderly lady, because the staff serving is always a nice little obachan. And Heda is directly talking about the spatula they use for scooping the ice cream. This is a very important part to the shape of the Baba Heda. Because it's a rose. This would be impossible to make using a normal ice cream scooper. Baba Heda is a specialty ice cream from Akita Prefecture that was born in 1969. The ice cream is yellow and pink, and these have become the theme colors. The staff serving the ice cream wear an apron with those colors too. And the umbrella that's giving shade to the staff is also yellow and pink, acting as a sign to let everyone know where they can get some Baba Heda ice. Quiz time! Can you guess what the flavors are? Yellow is... Banana. Pink is... Strawberry. Okay, okay, so now we know what Baba Heda is. The next question is, where do I get some? So I went out and asked. Baba Heda is in this area. Yes, that's right. Do you think you do it now? Yes, when you do it, you do they told me to find them on major intersections. MJ searched and searched and searched. But no luck. With only a few more days left, he remembered some information he got from the locals. <laughs> he then decided to go check the local tourist souvenir shop for the Baba Heda Cup. Luckily, I found the Baba Heda ice right here. It says there's milk, there's also komugi and zelda chin in there. But not only did I find the Baba Heda cup right here that anybody can get at any time of the year, I also found this. Baba Heda potato chips? Okay. See, that's what I'm talking about in the potato chip episode where you can't open it just from the top like that. Okay, we're gonna do it this weird way. A very thick chip, not a traditional potato chip. Looks very weird. So hard. Does not taste like a chip. The question is, does it taste like Baba Heda? I'm going to say no. There's nothing about it that tastes like Baba Heda. It doesn't even taste like a potato. You don't want to get everyone. So here we go, finally. Let's see what everybody is talking about. Baba Heda. Well, it's cold. You know, there's a little bit of banana in there. I, I want to try to get to the strawberry, but it's in the middle. To tell you the truth, even though it's not that great. This, I'm very saddened about. This whole thing is really, really frozen. I can't really enjoy it right away. This is a sad discovery. Another sad one that doesn't fulfill my taste buds of what a real Baba Heda is like. So I'm still going to be going out, be on this quest for the Baba Heda, see if I can find it. I've been looking around, I've been asking around, and I believe, I believe I just found it. Here it is, the Baba Heda ice. It looks like a beautiful little, little uh, bara right there. So it should be like bara Heda. I think the lady wasn't such a Baba. Special muscat and momo gente flavor. Ooh, ooh. That's really good. It's a mix between like a sherbet and an ice cream. It's not straight ice cream, but it's not straight sherbet either at the same time. The pink cone I've never seen before either. Usually it's a normal colored cone, but here we got a pink one. Really accents the color on top of that extra pink right there. Really delicious, really good, uh, really messy. So if you guys have time to come over to hang out and check out the Baba Heda, I think it's a good one. Thanks for joining me on my quest for Baba Heda. I hope you all enjoyed it and had a great time. Have you ever had Baba Heda? Let me know down in the comments. 
like the video, subscribe to the channel for more content. We'll see you on, on the, the next, next step. step.